Welcome to the 320 Podcast, where we encourage you to reach for the immeasurably more life with Christ. From discussions on scripture, to poetic messages, to dreaming big with Jesus, you will enjoy a variety of episodes brought to you by Shelley Wilson Ministries. To find out more about Shelley Wilson Ministries and the many resources available to you, please visit our website at www.shellywilsonministries.org. Tell Archippus, see to it that you complete the ministry you have received in the Lord. Colossians 4:17. There is a reason we find Paul feeling the need to exhort a fellow servant leader to be faithful to complete the ministry you received from our Lord Jesus. Some speculate he was discouraged, perhaps, but we really do not know the circumstance here entirely. We simply see Paul encouraging this one's faithfulness to Christ. It's not always an easy task to remain faithful to the call of God. There are many times of personal loss, wounding, and troubles that come. Much is sent to detour the work of God indeed. The devil knows the Achilles heel of each heart and his arrow aims there again and again. He has found a place of landing. As long as it's found effective, he will continue. Often your commitment to God will have to be weighed against all other commitments. Few will sacrifice, few will labor, Few will stay the course. How haunting are the words of Jesus. Do ye wish to leave me too? John 6, 67. It is a fair question for our hearts to ponder whether we are fully surrendered or in it just for the mere blessings. For when the season of trial comes and hell knocks at the door, will we continue then? Every hindrance that is sent slowly pushes the will of God away further and further until he must make a shift to fulfill his work. There is a reason that the man who buried his talents was rebuked. He decided to cut his losses before he even started. He kept safe his blessings, so safe that it was good to no one. Where there is no risk, it is unlikely you'll find Christ. Following Jesus is a risky business. Let me ask you this. Has it ever cost you anything to serve Christ? If not, then perhaps we've given out of excess and ritual rather than out of faith and love. Whether it's financial or laboring in the fields, there is a time when he will be separating the faithful from those who have been found burying the talents. It's merely a biblical principle. You reap what you sow. If you and I are faithful with little, he gives us more. Many are idle in the body, but you've convinced yourself you're waiting on God. Do you ever see a time in scripture where the disciples weren't being taught to serve where God was at work? A little bit of tired always seemed to overrule their passion. They couldn't seem to get enough sleep, even when Christ was counting on them to watch and pray. Remember, faith without works is dead. We are to be doers of the word in some form or another. What wave has carried you away from the call of God? My cat loves to swipe at my heels whenever I walk by her, trying to get my attention. What's reaching out for you every chance it can to keep your attention? Is there anything constantly grabbing at your heels? What has your affection more than Jesus? Is it a person? Is it a place? Is it a thing? Is it a title, a career, a loyalty of any kind, or even a dream? Child of God, Do not abandon the call of God. It's been entrusted to you by the King of all kings. We hope today's episode has blessed you and encouraged you to pursue Christ passionately. To join us again for more encouragement, equipping, and empowering, subscribe to the 320 Podcast. We would also like to invite you to enjoy our round-the-clock radio station, Royalty For Real Radio for Women, at royaltyforreal.com. That's royalty, the number four, real.com.